So we are here in County Kildare in Salins and this farm here is managed by Heinz Eggert. Uh, we were taking a walk of your farm today. Maybe could you just tell us a few words about the kind of system you're running here and the size of the farm? Well, this is 75 hectare all grassland farm and we keep my 100 soklak house here and we keep carry all the progeny onto beef or replacement. And uh, we had this message today from your Chagask advisors that you should really graze and close 60% of your farm by the 1st of November to prepare for next spring. We're in Kildare but it's still a heavy farm. How realistic is it and how are you managing this target? Well, over the last 10 years we have to put a lot of emphasis on grassland management here through the Better Farm program and to pressure on, on incomes. Uh, and it has been a great reward to this farm. Uh, and to have the 60% closed up by the end of October is supplying me with much more spring, or spring grass in the spring. Time. So how do you do it? Do you pick certain fields that you're going to close first? Uh, and uh, when do you start in, in the autumn to meet that target? This is a heavyish farm and the water tables are very high on this farm. So we suffer with wetness. So what I'm doing, I'm closing the driest fields close to the farm are down first because they're the fields I want to graze in the springtime first. Uh, if on the wet spring we can maybe just because it's close to the farm you just leave out stock for the day and bring them back, do a bit of on off grazing and things like that to be as flexible as possible in springtime. Okay and finally we've seen on the calves behind us a new device you're using to help with weaning uh, this year. Do you have one with you? Could you show us how it works? Uh, yes it's called a, a weaning paddle or a weaning tag. It's a nose tag they call it. It's inserted in the calves nost nostrils and it will actually prevent them from sucking. When they go to suck the cow, they will push the teeth away and they can't actually reach it to suck it. The idea is to stop the milk flow to the calf, but to stay with the mothers. We, I think the biggest stress we could put on weanings and what causes most of resp respiratory diseases is the weaning. It's the most stressful uh, thing on the animal, especially on the weanings, but also on the farmer when you lie in bed at night and you hear all these cows and calves roaring. Now, um, this is a system I've saw over the internet that is done in America quite recently. Uh, I'm trying it the first time this year. We weaned, the system is we put the air, nose tags in, keep the cows with the cows for five days. After five days, we take the nose tags out and separate the cows from the calves and the weaning stress is a lot lower. In fact, yesterday we weaned 20 cows. They're only two fields away from him. You hear them roaring a small little bit, but not very much. So you're it's happy nothing. with it so far? I, it seems to work. These nose tags and this particular bunch of bull calves, we inserted them yesterday. They will be taken out on Tuesday and the calves will be taken away. And we hopefully have it as quiet as we have it today. I'm sure you can't hear much roaring going on. No, it's very today. quiet right and, here. And uh, it, it's just to avoid stress. Okay. basically, and resp uh, through the stress respiratory diseases. All right, Heinz, thank you very much. You can read more about Heinz's farm at farmersjournal.ie slash betterfarm.